What is going on guys, Dakota from Decaldwell Photography. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about a black and white film that I just recently tried and I had some mixed results with. That film is in fact, T-Max 3200. So despite what this box actually says, it being a 3200 ISO film, after doing heavy research before uh, using about four rolls to this, I found out that T-Max 3200 is in fact an eight ISO film that prefers to be pushed to 3200. I went ahead and conducted three tests using this film just to see what type of results that I would get. The first test, and I'm going to display these images on the screen coming up here. The first test is going to be shooting this film straight at its proposed box speed of 3200. I uh, just went outside, uh, took some indoor shots as well, and, and just got some different shots using the T-Max 3200, shooting straight at a 3200 ISO. And I'm gonna display those images on the screen right now. Having shot this at box speed of 3200 or proposed box speed of 3200, I enjoy the high level contrast of these images, right? They're not like too dark. Uh, I have the beautiful grain that you look for. And again, shooting with higher ISO film, uh, a lot of the time you're, you know, you're going to get like a bunch of like noise and grain to your images, right? And sometimes it doesn't look all that great, but I will say uh, I was very surprised with this T-Max film brand. When shooting with high ISO film, you're usually gonna get a bunch of heavy grain on your images, right? But with this T-Max uh, film stock here, I tend I was very surprised. It wasn't that like horrible in terms of the grain being like super rough and uh, big and whatnot on the images, right? It was actually really like complimentary to the photo shooting at a 3200 ISO for the film. And again, the high level contrast of these uh, shots that I showed on the screen here, I really enjoyed that. Um, I wish I had a little bit more light when I was shooting the first time at the proposed box speed of 3200. But yeah, we uh, overall, I mean, they think it turned out pretty decent. The next test we ended up doing was shooting this at the preferred ISO of 800 and then telling my film lab to push it two stops so it gets to 3200. All right, so we had a Halloween party back in October. So what better time than to shoot some film when you're around friends and family. Uh, overall, I really did enjoy these shots a lot. I'll show these on the screen and then we'll jump back in and talk about some of the uh, details and whatnot that I think with it. I don't know about y'all, 
but I did see a lot of nice inky blacks in terms of shooting this at an 800 ISO and then pushing it to 3200. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, uh, when you're shooting this at 800, apparently you're going to get a lot of detail still within the highlights and everything looked like really well rounded on the photo. I mean, the film grain, uh, I think was a little bit more prominent than shooting this directly at 3200 uh, ISO, just because when you're pushing um, the film, of course, added grain, the higher the ISO that it gets. Uh, but again, this is my opinion. You guys let me know what you think in the comments or what you notice when shooting uh, T-Max 3200. But it just my personal opinion, I felt that the grain was a little bit more prominent in these shots that I shot at 800 ISO and then pushed to 3200 uh, at the lab. So, but overall, I really loved these. So, I mean, just the different looks that you would get, the astronaut photos of uh, Kia. It really looked like she was on the moon somewhere with the light seeping in on the helmet. Uh, you know, just some of the random, just background, like some of my boys, uh, we were celebrating his birthday. Uh, I really liked the shot of him by the window with the light like creeping in to create like that nice little uh, blind uh, array on his whole body. That was really nice too. So uh, overall, I figured I was gonna like these a lot because again, you're shooting with friends and family, but it was a great time overall. Um, shooting at 800 ISO for this film uh, didn't disappoint. Okay, so we shot at 800 and we pushed the 32. We shot at box speed of 32 and then next, all right, so uh, we were at the beach with Dez uh, shooting with some ADOX Color Mission 200 recently. And uh, once the sun started going down, I thought there might not be a better time to shoot with uh, some T-Max 3200, right? Give me some night shots incorporated within this test here. So I went ahead and loaded up the T-Max 3200 within the Nikon F3. But this time, um, because it was so dark outside and I noticed that my meter, it was giving me like super bad, like underexposure uh, signs when I'm looking through the viewfinder. Um, in all honesty, um, I told myself I probably should push this one more stop, right? So let me back up. I shot this at 800 ISO and I pushed then the three stops at the film lab also, shout out to Lexi Film Labs. Uh, they've been awesome with developing a lot of my images uh, over the past three, four months or so, and they do a phenomenal job. I'll put their link in the bio below. But yes, uh, shooting this at 800 ISO and then pushing it three stops to get to 64 ISO. And from these images on the screen that you're about to see, you could tell that the grain is super, super prominent and visible. Uh, because we are shooting at 6400 ISO and it's pretty much pitch black outside. The only light that's out there is basically from the moon and there was like a half crescent at that point. So uh, let me know what you guys think of these pictures and then we'll jump back in. You guys let me know in the comments which photos you prefer shooting directly at the 3200 box speed shooting at iso 800 and pushing two stops to get the 32 or shooting at iso 800 and then pushing three stops to get the 6400 again they all brought a different type of uniqueness to the table and you know i like doing stuff like this it really gives me a better idea of how film actually works uh, it gives me a better idea on what to try next time and to uh, you know, again, just have more fun and keep experimenting with film because uh, these past seven months have been extremely fun and I'm like a kid in the candy store buying different film stocks to try. So go ahead and leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it, as well as click that subscribe button if you haven't yet to become a member of the channel. Thank you so much and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.